<laughs> hey, what is going on guys? Really quick before I start the video, I need to talk to you about Earn.gg. Earn.gg is a points to cash reward system where you can watch ads and do surveys online for real life cash. Click the link down in the description below for more if you're interested. Hey, what's going on guys? All right, and we're back again. What is going on guys? My name is Rudy Comes to you get another new video for the fans. Um, I'll be honest with you, I forgot to clean my face before going into this video because I am getting sick. And yeah, my intro was kind of making fun of Tensor, if you guys didn't realize it, you know, I said, uh, for the fans. And I'll be honest with you guys, I think Brian's intro sucks. It actually sucks so bad, I went ahead and wrote it on my calendar. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding, we love Brian. Sometimes. Sometimes we love Brian. No, but anyway, I think this is gonna be kind of a shorter video because I haven't talked about the story yet and I never wanted to talk about it because I always thought it was kind of a short story. But it's content you haven't seen yet and that's what matters. And actually before that, okay, so yesterday, I, I know every one of my followers and subs knows about the whole verified thing. Yeah. Well, yesterday, I think Twitter tried telling me something because I started showing up in people's verified tabs. Now, if they could just fuck off and instead of giving me all of the perks of a check mark this is essentially what they did they gave me all of the perks of the check mark aside from the fucking check mark dude is there any way you guys can like give me the check mark but none of the n none of the shit that comes with it <laughs> And sorry if I can't get excited as shit, dude, my, my throat hurts so bad. I literally drank all of these today, like half of this thing is gone, dude, and I, I fucking hate Dasani water. But no today, Twitter did tell me that they were gonna be reviewing my account for it to get verified, so if in the next few days you see me without a check mark, I'm actually gonna be sad as fuck. Okay, so anyway, today is my friend Cass's birthday. You know, he tweeted out it was his birthday, and I was like, shit, you know, I haven't seen Cass in a minute. And I sat in bed, you know, I wish him a happy birthday and everything, I was like, shit, you know, oh yeah, remember that one time you got me strip searched by our fucking school's officer? <laughs> so here's that story. So back in the day when I was in high school, freshman through senior year, all of my friends and I were complete idiots. Let me just state that for the re- like, literally everything that's going on here can be just explained by the fact that we're fucking stupid. No one was having an off day, no one was having a sugar rush, no one had too much fucking coffee, no. It was every day, just what? kind of bullshit can I put everybody through today for my sheer enjoyment of, you know, just me and my friends. And keep in mind, you know, we were the little accelerated nerd class, so I mean, we were getting our shit done, like our grades were good and everything. <laughs> like 60% of the time, grades were good. But I mean, we would go to school and school would pretty much just be our playground, you know? Once you get your work done and the teacher's pretty much just sitting there babysitting you, dude, it's a bunch of teenage boys dicking around. That came out so much gayer than I initially intended, dude. No, but dude, we would show up and just fuck around every single day. And a good majority of my friends, we all had Chinese together. And as bad as it sounds, okay, like our, our Chinese teacher was foreign, like she was from China. So she had a very strong Chinese accent and she also didn't speak English very well. We took a whole lot of advantage of that, dude. I'll be straight up honest with you. Just roll up to class, hey, Miss Lynn, fuck you. <laughs> Hi. And then, you know, we'd say our greeting, oh, ni hao, ni hao. you know, shit like that, you know, it was awesome. Kids. You cannot do that. So each and every day, my friends and I, you know, it was me, my friend Cass, and then we had like four or five other people in there, and it was just us guys. And that was just the seniors, dude. We had a bunch of juniors in there too that were just like us, and for those of you that are foreign and wrong. Seniors are year 12 of school and juniors are year 11. So we're like 16, 17 years old, dude, we're all retarded. It was every day, walk into class, string of swear words, fuck you to everybody, middle fingers up, just don't give a fuck. <laughs> watches my videos. But eventually, you know, we were always just cracking up and, you know, making jokes and, but we were all just going to Chinese strictly just to get a laugh at this point, dude. No one was paying attention. I mean, the people that were doing their work were copying off of other people. Dude, let's be real here. I don't know what the hell happened for my two years in Chinese. Straight up couldn't tell you a lick of the language or any of the characters, but damn it. We had fun and that's what matters. So finally our jokes get progressively more and more just fucked up. So I'm walking into Chinese, it's like middle of February. Hey Miss Lynn, Cass has a fucking gun in his bag. Cass be like, no, uh Clayton's got plastic explosives and he's got a detonator too. <laughs> <laughs> and we had my friend Brady and a whole bunch of other people in on it and shit, dude. It was the funniest thing I think I've ever witnessed. Cause we're sitting there and kids are like, oh yeah, Clayton has a fucking 12 gauge in his locker and he's telling us to text our parents goodbye. <laughs> like, this is terrible! 
oh, you like you can't do this. So around the beginning of March, I think she finally started to comprehend what we were talking about because we started watching more and more Americanized things in Chinese. Because we weren't going in there just to learn Chinese, you know, she was learning about American cultures and shit like that too. So I mean, it was kind of a benefit for both sides. And to be fair, I don't think we should have been the class that should have let her decide what American cultures are like. And it eventually gets to the point where she starts to almost fully comprehend what we're saying each and every time. Like she was getting the basics of like gun and things like that, like the proper nouns and things. So she decides to go home and she's dating our French teacher who's multilingual. Dude knows like eight languages. They sit through the entire spring break and he just teaches her English. Now she doesn't come back knowing the entire English fucking language just cause that isn't possible. But she did come back knowing what a handgun and plastic explosives were. <laughs> so the first day after spring break rolls around and it gets to be fifth period, you know, Chinese. I'm rolling up to class like, yeah, boy, just played MW2 for nine days straight. Didn't see anybody, didn't even leave my fucking room. It's time to party. Rolling that bitch like, fuck you, Miss Lynn. I got my 40, my fucking strap on me. And Cass is like, yeah, I see that fucking bomb in your bag. And I'm like, yeah, boy, Check out the detonator! I've got my phone, dude. <laughs> Five minutes into my rant, I'm still going off like, yeah, fuck yeah, got my 12 gauge and shit. We're all going in. Brady's like, yeah, I got my Glock 40s. Who's ready to go to fucking middle school? For some reason, the school officer and the uh, the vice principal show up at the door. Yeah, uh, we're gonna need to see Mr. Huddleston, and, um, we're gonna need to have him patted down before he leaves. And I'm like, okay, what the hell did I do? And they're like, nah, you gotta come with us, dude. My shit was handcuffed, I, like, hands behind my back, like, guided, walking into this private room. Uh, give me a sec, you know, I've had to down, this is my 15th water bottle today, I have to go take a piss. I'm gonna, like, continue the story as I'm walking away, though. So I'm walking with my fucking uh, vice principal and the school resources officer. I don't know if you can hear me from over here when I'm taking a piss. Nah, but anyway, these dudes are leading me into this private room and I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Oh no, we've had it with your shit this time. We've dealt with you poisoning kids of cheese and getting kicked out of the Holocaust Museum. And I'm like, dude, I haven't even done anything wrong yet. Like, you guys are just handcuffing me and shit. Oh no, apparently you're packing heat. And I was like, oh shit. And I look my school resource officer like dead in the eye and I'm like, dude, what the hell are you talking about? He's like, oh, you don't have a fucking shotgun or no plastic explosives? And I'm like, dude, you sound like a fucking lunatic. What are you talking about? And these dudes are sitting there going through my backpack and shit while I'm sitting there handcuffed. And they're like, all right, drop your drawers. And I'm like, motherfucker, I seen some pornos and I know how they start. I'm sitting there like, uh, no. And he's like, all right, well, you're going to jail. I was like, all right, have, have at it. Drop my shit real quick. Oh, dude, right in my boxers, like nothing else on. They're patting me down and shit. And I'm just sitting there, you know, freezing my dick off like, yep. Glad you guys found my 12 gauge. And no, that isn't a detonator. And no, I'm not happy to see you, sir. So the dudes get concluded after like 30 minutes of patting me down, you know, that they emptied out all of my mechanical pencils to see if I was harboring drugs. So the dudes keep me there for a second, question me like, you know, what the hell's going on? I'm sitting there denying literally everything. Do you guys have to understand, I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. This lady's crazy. And I'm sitting there using like the language barrier to my <laughs> to my benefit. I'm like, are you guys sure you, you can understand her? Like you're conveying the right message? Uh, are you sure like she she meant gun or did she mean gum? Like I mean you, you guys are way off here. So after a full hour ordeal of them, all right, and they're like, yeah, well shit, you don't have any weapons to kill anybody with. And I'm like, I'm also fat, white, and retarded. There's literally zero chance I hurt anybody. So they let me go on to class and my next class is pre-calculus. So I walk into calculus, we're in the middle of a test. And I'm like, all right, I can just sit down, take my test, whatever, and I'll just get it done tomorrow. Get about a uh, problem and a half done with it. And the teacher walks up to me and is like, hey man, I hope you can work fast. I was like, well, I can't. <laughs> well, because, you know, for one, I don't really pay attention in here. And for two, you know, it 
it's calculus. For three, you know, I'm working on about 20 minutes of time here. So if you could cut me some slack, dude. He's like, yeah, well, no, they, they kind of told me why you were in the office and uh, why, why you were missing class. So uh, you get today to work on it and uh, that's it. To be fair, uh, I'd, I'd call myself a pretty reasonable person. Um, so knowing that I wasn't gonna get anything else done, it was a calculus test, uh, I pretty much just said fuck it and gave him the test right, <laughs> right then and there. I was like, yeah, dude, if you're gonna do that, go ahead and take it. Like, there, there is just no point in me doing this. So kids, the moral of the story is, uh, don't joke about Bring in harmful things to school because you're gonna end up getting strip searched and failing math. Although you won't actually end up failing math, you'll fail the test, but on the rest of them you'll get like B's and A's and it'll average out to a 92 because he's a good guy. Shit, now that I admit to this, I guess my school kind of has something over me. Uh, if only I had something over them, like a teacher that abused me or a, a, a fucking uh, a scandal between staff, students, teacher, something like that. I mean, if only I knew something about that and had proof about it. And if only I I was bullied in sophomore year and someone lied to my, you know, family and stuff. Bud's my old high school who now has something over me. I, I wish I had something over you guys. I, I wish I did, but hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you're new, <laughs> subscribe. Oh, but really, that whole abuse and like scandal affair thing. Yeah, uh, that that's real. Don't fuck with me, LHS. And to the rest of you watching who are just a bunch of internet people that I've come to know and love. Uh, if you guys can follow my Twitch account, uh, YouTube ad revenue is still down and I've been streaming a lot more. Bro, go follow my Twitch right now, which is twitch.tv slash nuda. It's like the first link in the description. It's just at nuda on Twitch. I'm verified. I'm, I'm fucking verified on it. If I'm not live after this video, you know, because the throat thing, then I will be at some point throughout the rest of the week. I'm going to TwitchCon too. I'll probably be streaming up until then and then after then. Oh yeah, and for those of you who were asking about TwitchCon, if I'm going, what, yes, I am going. And if you want to bring me designer clothing, size extra large preferably no but really uh it's in california and I, I a lot of you wanted to know like where exactly it was why don't you just fucking google it it's in lone beach together now you know you in trouble ain't nothing but a g thing baby too low death thinker so we're crazy death row is the label that pays man